Hello there, Dora Pinter again with Service Star Realty, giving you a quick update on our COVID-related crisis, um, how it is affecting us as property managers and you as a rental property owner. I'm going to start with good news that uh, the total tenants that reported hardship to us so far are only 17 out of 560 active leases on our uh, occupied properties. So that is great news. Honestly, we were expecting that number to be a little high, but at the same time, we're still skeptical. Um, we, we're still expecting um, more of them to be late and just less proactive in reaching out. So uh, we will give you a full head count probably on the fifth when we have the full picture. Uh, the 17 tenants, uh, mm, some of them tried to reach out for aid and uh, unfortunately, those places that we researched for them, we are requiring them to be already late with rent or utility bills. They need to show that they are already in arrears. And that is not the case with many of them because they are reaching out to us proactively. So they have not been late yet. Um, so, it's, it's a little bit like, um, I don't know if you remember during the mortgage crisis, uh, in order for you to apply for a loan modification, you already had to be 30 or 60 days late on your mortgage payment. So that is a little bit what's happening now. But luckily our government is coming uh, forth with forbearance plans uh, uh, for property owners. So there's a lot of help on the way and uh, we are going to expand on that on a, on, a, on a whole other little update video to talk to you about that. Uh, we had a team meeting today and we brainstormed uh, uh, together to see how we can help fill vacancies um, as well as keep tenants in place. And we strongly suggest to you as a property owner uh, to, uh, to go with our special uh, that has proven very helpful in the past when the market was slower four or five years ago. We were offering this special and it worked very well for our tenants. Uh, it's basically uh, offering a month free so we can advertise in our headlines one month free because a lot of people are out there looking for deals right now. But we would split that into uh, two weeks free the first four months of their rent period and two weeks free in the second. So we are actually stretching out the, the help that we're providing over two months period of time, which is right now perceived as uh, the time frame it's going to take for the situation to get better. Um, our property managers will be reaching out to you and uh, those of you who have vacancies and discuss this idea with you. Um, the second thing that we would like to do is to leave the rent rates on the renewals. Uh, those properties that are coming up for a lease renewal. Uh, we would like to avoid raising the rents because like I said, there are a lot of deals out there and tenants are savvy, they know about it, they're looking for um, getting a better deal and they may just move for that reason. So it would not be an appropriate time uh, to, uh, to raise rents because you're risking the vacancy, which is very, very hard to feel right now. So, um, we are negotiating payment plans uh, and we are also negotiating lease modifications with the tenants, meaning uh, we can give them uh, $100 or $200 off of their lease uh, amount for the next six months. And uh, what we've come up with is we're uh, giving it as a concession and concessions are repayable if they break their lease. So what we are doing is we are lowering their rent rate, but if they decide to move early, they will owe that difference back to you. So those are the things that we're working on and uh, we're going to continue uh, to keep you posted. So hang in there. We're in good hands. We're here to help. If you have any questions, feel free to respond to this email or reach out to your property manager. Thank you for watching.